Yo, what's up, Stud Muffin Nation? Welcome back, and today we got a lot of stories at our hands. And first of all, I'm not trying to drop shades on you guys. My eye is swollen up, so I needless to say, I don't want to put you through a horrifying experience. But we got a major schlong measuring contest happening between Sony and Microsoft. New reveals are going to be happening very soon. We got Call of Duty 2020 reveal happening pretty soon, so we got some news regarding that from the leakers. And holy smokes, guys, put your kids to bed. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 Remastered is also supposed to be coming out on PS4 very soon, and needless to say, I want to talk about it. Do I think multiplayer is going to happen? The chances are pretty low, okay, and we're going to talk about it. We got some really good GTA 6 news, and I just want to get right into it. As always, I do everything about Call of Duty and gaming news. If a chat like you is into that, then uh, subscribe, and make sure you guys are drinking water, taking uh, vitamin C tablets. I mean, uh, very important during this uh, Roni situation, okay? And definitely don't kiss your loved ones. Don't go outside and uh, smash that like button. And our first story comes from a PlayStation dev who claims that Xbox Series X is a beast compared to uh, PS5 and I mean this is something that we have been hearing for a good while right like there are devs who are saying that PS5 is better others are saying that Xbox is better and obviously 99.99999% of you stud muffins already know which console is better so let's smash the like button if you know which console is better I, I definitely don't want you guys fighting in the comments okay or be my guest uh, 1v1 everybody in the comments below but we're also hearing from former Sony Pony and they say that PS5 might struggle in some ways and needless to say my inner Sony pony is kind of offended But uh, here's the thing I, I really think this is a schlong measuring contest because a while ago We were also hearing that PS5 is the better console that was according to Crytek engineer Who claims that recording can be challenging and its peak performance will be a bottleneck And this is Jason Shry, right? And uh, he basically heard from insiders that PS5 is gonna be the most exciting hardware in 20 years So Jason Shry credibility just way too high. He said that but obviously uh xbox series x got 1.72 extra teraflops i mean wow i'm kind of shocked and i understand this i'm not trying to hate on xbox nor ps5 i just want both of these consoles to be out right and this is kurt who is a co-game director on the last of us part 2 so yeah he can be biased he basically put this tweet out right after ps5 was revealed and says that i'm still tripping about this ps5 ssd spec like people don't even know how big of a leap in terms of game design can be made especially for first party that doesn't have to be designed to lowest common denominator by far the biggest leap in my career can't wait so you got people like that you got people who are saying that i mean uh, xbox is gonna be a beast so uh, needless to say it's just a strong measuring contest and in my opinion uh you guys already know which console is better so definitely go after the ones you're looking for and honestly bro we're not really gonna see a noticeable change maybe years down the line we're gonna see xbox Xbox be a little bit better graphically and PS5 is gonna be loading games faster when we got GTA 7 or you know GTA 9 or whatever the case. We're also hearing that Xbox Series S law card reveal is gonna be coming in May and this sounds very believable because we have been hearing about Xbox Series S law card for a good while and also Daniel Ahmed who is a gaming industry insider, even Okami who leaked Modern Warfare 2 remastered campaign. Both of these guys are saying that PS5 and even the Xbox Series X reveal is gonna be happening in May so needless to say I am sus about that no longer I think both of these consoles are gonna be revealed in May like Sony is gonna be revealing the PS5 meanwhile Xbox will be like okay so here's another console hey here you go right and we're hearing that Lockhart version is gonna be inferior compared to PS5 and the Series X I mean yeah it makes sense because this one is gonna be less powerful but more affordable and they are gonna be putting this one out there for people who just want a cheaper machine who don't really care about the teraflops or extra numbers or the graphics this one is gonna replace the current gen consoles for now and obviously then we're gonna get ps5 and series x and who knows the sony might even have a ps5 pro uh we had leaks about it but are we gonna see sony release ps5 and ps5 pro both of them at launch uh, the chances are very unlikely but let's see what happens also on the other hand another year another call of duty and man i i don't know what it is okay i'm gonna be honest with you studs okay i <laughs> am a little bit excited about the call of duty 2020 according to rumors and leaks and even the gaming revolution sources and even my source who works at activision both of these guys are saying that it is still gonna be coming out in 2020 maybe it's gonna be coming out by the end of november or december you know uh, i'm perfectly down with it you know what delayed one or two months i'm even down for a march 2021 release as long as the game is polished and done and the gaming revolution source is saying that this could be teased first in warzone and reveal is rumored for me and it makes sense right activision they are eating good man they are seeing benjamin's coming like a Tsunami, Warzone, they got like 
50 million players, right? I heard like 55 million players the other day. So needless to say, it's gonna continue to climb up and it makes a lot of sense that they're gonna be revealing Call of Duty 2020 and their future projects through Modern Warfare and Warzone. Even the long sensation says that Call of Duty 2020 reveal is gonna be happening in May. And according to leakers, Activision was supposed to drop Call of Duty 2020 teasers by the end of April, but because of that Roni situation, they ended up delaying it. Make sure you guys are washing hands and uh, smash the like button. But we're hearing that now they're gonna be doing that in May. But of course, nothing is confirmed, even though all of this information is coming from really good sources who leaked the whole of Modern Warfare and even Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. The thing is that because of the Roni situation, things can get delayed. Also, there are rumors that say that new Crash Bandicoot game is coming to the PS5. And uh, I mean, these are just rumors, so absolutely, like, don't get too excited, but... Knowing the fact that Activision hinted at the fact that they're gonna be putting out more remasters and they're gonna be having more games in the future, Crash Bandicoot makes sense, right? And the thing is that we're hearing that it had been in development for about three years right now, and we should start to see movement soon with the marketing. But it says that it's one of the PS5 ad games, and personal thoughts, we should see the reveal between now and by the end of May. And the thing is that that lines up perfectly with what Daniel Ahmed has been saying, and also Okami, who says that PS5 reveal is gonna be happening in May. So maybe by the end of May, we're also going to have Call of Duty 2020 reveal, PS5 and Xbox reveal, and even this game reveal. It makes sense, but obviously these are just leaks. Nothing is set in stone, even though if this is legit, the Roni situation can definitely cause delays. Also, a pretty shocking news regarding GTA 6. We're hearing that GTA 6 story is already finished. And I mean, I, I don't doubt it, man. I don't doubt it because the Yans 2295s, the, the test funds, uh, has been claiming that, hey, GTA 6 has been like 60 to 70 person done and the yawns and the test funds out there those guys are really credible if you're familiar with the gaming revolution basically those guys are gaming revolution but for the gta community right and they are saying that the game has been in development for years and its story is also finished which kind of makes sense and listen i'm not a game dev but in my opinion i i definitely think the story is finished right now here's where i am a little bit confused right is the story plot uh, plot's finished, which makes a lot of sense. I think the story plot would be finished because Dan Hauser left. Or is the GTA 6 single player done? Like, completely done? I mean, I'm not totally sure about it. I believe the fact that the story, the plot, the writing, the voice acting, the, the motion capturing, is that done? I, I think, yeah. But in terms of GTA 6 single player being done completely, I mean, I, I'm kind of sus about it, needless to say, okay? But I wouldn't be surprised. But the official wording says that it's early in development, and if that's really true, I I highly doubt that, okay? But if that is really true, I mean, uh, we're probably gonna be 80 years old before this game comes out. Needless to say, I, I definitely don't want that. And in terms of more rumors, uh, this one is a lot more believable, and I'm gonna drop some evidence that will support the theory as well, because we're hearing from, uh, once again, the Gaming Revolution source. So, I mean, the Gaming Revolution source has been spitting gospel for way too long, right? And uh, they're saying that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Remaster is finished, will launch on PS4 first. And I mean, that's a good old Sony ponies, okay, and uh, obviously this is something Charlie until reported just the other day, and they said that, oh, I report Modern Warfare 2 campaign remaster release first on PS4 because Sony asked for, and they funded its release. So you're telling us Sony funded its release, but they forgot to uh, fund its multiplayer? I mean... I, I gotta clap it up, man. I gotta clap it up. But of course, jokes aside, the gaming revolution and even my source and basically all of the insiders are saying that multiplayer is currently being tested and that's done as well. But they are afraid to put that one out there because they are scared to split the fan base, which is kind of understandable in a way. But I really don't think it's gonna split the fan base, but I might be biased. You know, you never know. And around the same time Modern Warfare 2 Remaster was leaked back in 2018, Modern Warfare 3 Remaster was also leaked. So this is something that we have been hearing for a good while and what we're hearing now is that it's apparently gonna be coming out on PS4 and this makes a lot of sense because Modern Warfare 2 Remaster and 3 Remaster both of them according to leaks they were done back in 2018 and Sony and Activision both of them had a contractual uh, agreement and they were like, you need to put this game out first on PS4, uh, campaign only. We know that Modern Warfare 2 Remaster came out and PS5 is going to be coming out by the end of the year. And it makes a lot of sense that we're also going to get Modern Warfare 3 Remaster before PS5 comes out. And needless to say, 
May is gonna be that month where we're gonna get Call of Duty 2020 stuff. So are we gonna get Modern Warfare 3 remaster between May and let's say October, November? The chances are very high. So what does this mean for Modern Warfare 2 remaster multiplayer and Modern Warfare 3 remaster multiplayer? Are we gonna get those as well? I, I mean, my personal opinion, the way I'm seeing things move, uh, it is pretty hard to say. Needless to say, we're gonna have to wait a lot longer. Do I think multiplayer is never gonna happen? Absolutely not. I think multiplayer is gonna happen for both of these games, but uh, we gotta wait a little bit longer. Maybe we're gonna be 80 years old, but that is really about it. Let me know what your stuff open mind says in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Check out our video on the screen. As always, I appreciate you massively for coming on, and I will see you in the next one.